Welcome to episode two of Bar Talk down here at Karen's Corner with my special guest, Tom Callis. Hi. Who the hell are you and what are you doing here? Well, I'm here because I'm your only friend. True. And you begged me to come over for a week. <laughs> like you said, I'm Tom Callis with a K. It's like Dallas. Um, I'm here because uh, we're lifting partners. A couple of my accomplishments are mainly in the squat. My first world record was uh, squatting 165 <laughs> at at body weight 165, squatting 677. And I re rebroke that, squatting 711 at 165. And then uh, last meet, just squatted 750 pretty easily at 198. How the hell did you get started in lifting? Uh, when I was about 11 or 12 years old, uh, my dad got tired of us playing Dance Dance Revolution in the TV room and playing video games. So he said, you have to chop wood, start chopping wood and start working out uh, like five hours a week. Well, was your dad the guy that was the guest on episode one? <laughs> or no? <laughs> Different dad. Okay. Yeah, different dad. Dave, his real name. Dave uh, Callis. Yeah, so I started like chopping wood outside with my brothers by hand. Did that all summer long for like, like nine years. Every summer we were just chopping down trees and uh, cutting them into uh, firewood. So we started wor working out. My brothers, I was about 13 in the basement. We had like power rack, some pull down machine bullshit, some fly machine stuff. All like, you know, one of those machines where it's all like kind of together. I got started there and then high school. Took off from there, started like kind of doing powerlifting, uh, I guess programming, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Uh, started bodybuilding when I was 16, 17, and 18, and then I said this, enough of this fairy shit, uh, and then I started powerlifting ever since, so I've probably like six years now. Well, I just told his whole life story, so uh, that's the end of the, that's, <laughs> that's the end of the part talk. I'll see you later. <laughs> Alright then, how did you two meet? We met at a uh, Wright what? Athletic Club. Yeah, had a brother named Thurston. What the hell oh, kind of yeah. name is Thurston? And a brother named Thurston. Thurston, yeah. how the third? He was working out with Tom. Yes. And he said, uh, "Weird dude, <laughs> lazy eye." He said he had, a, he had a brother also named Tom that was kind of similar. Yeah, he so, said, "I got a brother named Tom. He's just like you, Tom, <laughs> except <laughs> he's younger." He said, "Well, let's bring him in." When I was 15, I started training with these guys at uh, my brother and this idiot. Uh, at Wright Athletic Club yeah. in uh, DeKalb, Sycamore. Um, and then, yeah, the rest is downhill from there, man. The training years since I was 15, so it's almost 10 years. That's a long time. Oh, dude. Coming I mean, I kind of raised you. Not. You know what I mean? Well, no. are we going with that story? Should we go? Should yeah, we, you kind of <laughs> did raise me. Should we go with the, the when what I was, happened like a couple months later yeah, when you met me? When I was 15, I met Finn, and to me, like, I didn't really know a lot of people, especially as big as Finn. Well, I met it in a small country town my whole life. Uh, so I meet Finn, I meet this big idiot, and I go, this guy's pretty strong, I'm gonna start being like him. You know, start drinking beer, you know. But I was 15, <laughs> he was like 20 something by then. Um, and then I turned. Drinking uh, beer, about, chewing tobacco, yeah, about, driving trucks. <laughs> about six months later, I uh, ended up getting my first DUI because Finn always said it was really cool to drink and drive. And I go, okay, well, if this big guy does it, I should start drinking and driving. <laughs> well, I never said it was cool to drink and drive. Yes, you did. I just said it was cool to drink. Well, <laughs> I heard drive. <laughs> so I, I think you took the driving part, <laughs> bud. <laughs> so I, like, I was 16, drinking and driving. I go, oh, Finn does this. I'll do this. I'll come to the gym, hung over, just like Finn does. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't work for me. A couple times it worked. Yeah. And then the one time it didn't, I pulled over in the middle of the road, went the wrong way home. <laughs> I blamed Finn ever since. You got a DUI, huh? Yeah. What, 15? <laughs> 16. 16? I had my license for like four months. Jesus. That's you impressive. owe me five grand. That's what it cost me. And a Camaro. You are driving a, I thought you were driving a, that old truck. It was a Camaro? Yeah, I got that after. I had a Camaro when I was 16. Oh, God. And, a, and a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> and short shorts. Yeah. Hmm. Didn't you have a woman in your car at the time, too? No, I was by myself. Oh, jeez. That's bad, then. Yeah. yeah. Complete loser. Drunk out vodka. Yeah. Never again. So what makes you two good lifting partners? Well, we think alike. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We, we like drinking. <laughs> Women. Partying. Women. Get snorting. snorting. Shooting, snorting, dancing. <laughs> uh, when we're not being idiots, we're our pretty good training partners, you know? 
from a squat and bench or deadlift whenever whenever we would uh, train together in Aurora. We had some pretty awesome workouts. You know, we yeah. drank Durham sometimes, but the most time we were pretty serious until we started. You know, got bored or got done with our workout, then we might start making some stupid videos or something. Well, I mean, we were some of the best powerlifters in the world. We still are. Yeah, you that know? helped too. You know, I mean, I was big into squats, so I could kind of push him on squats because we could. We were squatting pretty much about the same, so it's kind of I could kind of push him because I'm smaller than he is, and he'd be like, "Fucking, need to catch this idiot," and then he'd out squat me. You know, and then benching, I'd kind of follow his lead too because he benched so much. So I was just, you know, build the chest, fuck the rest, old man right. style. Right, right. And I was always talking just you're a like, you know, motherfucker. You know, build the so, quads and uh, fuck the wads. Or something. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did. <laughs> Whatever that is, yeah. And then deadlift, we just uh, close our eyes and go for the best. <laughs> yeah, kind of like sex. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, deadlift is like sex. Yep. How many beers you had tonight? Uh, twenty-seven. Jesus, turn that song up a little bit. I'm supposed to drive home tonight. There's no way I'm driving back to St. Charles like this. Yeah, there's a bad. It, you can't see this uh, area we're at, but there's actually. For people that come into Karen's Corner and get drunk, there's a bed right behind there's the camera. A bed in the bar. So <laughs> all you have to do is walk behind the camera. Beer the man. And then Callis, tell us, what does a typical day look like for a working class lifter? Uh, I get this question a lot. Uh, people kind of know, like, well, where do you work? Uh, I work for a utility company up here. Uh, I do line work. And we're just part of getting our busy season with work. Uh, Storm trouble, trees falling on wire, shit like that, wire coming down, shit blowing up because of summer heat, overloading the system. So, uh, days are pretty busy. Um, usually, I average like, you know, 12 hour days throughout the week, if not 16s. So usually, you know, say I work like a 16 hour day, or a 12 hour day, whatever time I get off, I'll just go straight to the gym, grab a coffee, work out for an hour and a half, go home, eat, go to bed, get three four hours of sleep and sometimes do the exact same thing all over again so it kind of sucks but that's my life <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my life that's my life so you two are in a lot of videos together how do you get the ideas for your videos well i think of the the ideas um i got a lot of stupid shit running around in my head I write them down. If I ever need like a, a second person in my video, yeah. I go to my best buddy, Callus, over here. You know. <laughs> and then we uh, we're like throwing back forth ideas. Like, no, you're a fucking idiot. That's a dumb idea. <laughs> yeah. We're like, that's fucking genius. And we'll take it, write it down, and we'll save it for another day. So we got ideas like in the can. Oh yeah, we got some good ideas. Some of the ideas I think were awesome, and they don't turn out as good. Yeah. I didn't think the one that we did, the dangerous video, and you the. Leg press yeah, machine. Yeah, leg press squat. We just like, that was like on a whim. Yeah, it might be all I'm right. I'm driving in there. I'm like, hey, I got this idea, Kel. You think this is going to be funny? I don't know. And we do it, and everybody's like, what the fuck? And we're yeah, like, like millions, millions of views. Like, unreal. Like, you should have died. No, you should have died. If I fell, you're fucked. Oh, I, I can't die. I'm bulletproof. <laughs> oh, well, that's good to know. A lot of people ask about the trust you must have to do a video like that together. Talk about that. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> yeah, right. You trust me with your life, man. <laughs> so yeah. Step I, back to the last question. Look at the last video. You trust me with your life. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're both pretty good at what we do, you know. Like being, like we're pretty, you know, just strong in general. I'm a good so, athlete too. I get good balance. Yeah, strength. We, we have good balance. We're we're strong as fuck, you know. So that helps, and you know, I think like the squatting video is probably the most dangerous one we did because. If I fall, he's fucked. If he if he fucks up, I'm I'm, I'm still fine. So he really had to fucking trust me that I knew how to squat, which I I do. And then we did uh, a video with me on his shoulders and me holding a, a barbell. You know, if fucking you got loose, oh yeah, I'm going down. Which not only what six feet in the air, but on top of a stair stepper, I'm going down ten yeah, feet you're, you're, you're with a barbell in back, no control. Which that didn't get that many views. No, it tanks. But uh, I thought it was fucking genius. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We just, uh, we trust each other. We're not going to fucking drop anything. And if we do, you know, we probably know. Should we talk happens. about that one video we're going to do or no? Uh, Maybe later. Car? What's the no, favorite the video that you've ever done together? Well, one of my favorite lifting sessions with Tom Kallis was definitely like two years ago when we were squatting together. I squatted like 815 that day and you were 
giving me beer at the same time. Oh yeah, you remember that? And, and you had like a beer. huge squat too. Like, yeah, I think I squatted like seven fifty. We had like huge a squats squat. and we were drinking the whole you're time. Drinking beer the entire night. That was one of my private. Yeah, and it was just it was like me, you, Jason, Better, and like two or three other people. That yeah. was it. Yeah, I know. And we were just fucking cranking like country music. Yeah, I was cranking like Brantley Gilbert yeah. and Chugging yeah. Miller White. Coming with a core beer. We were squatting seventy eight hundred pounds. And we squatted the shit out of it. That was that yeah. was a good day. Yeah, that was one of our best lifting sessions. Mm-hmm. For sure. What is that? Is that a picture or something? But uh, probably our best video is uh, well, we had a minute. we we made a Valentine's Day video, <laughs> but nobody uh, like it well, fucking that tanked. was the one I was just talking about. Yeah, well, that one fucking tanked on mine. But we we I had full set up. Mine, but it's so we good. had like a table set up. We bought flowers. We bought bears. Make it look like Valentine's Day. We did like a flippy cup thing. Every, every and I got on his shoulders on the on the steermaster. That's probably one of my favorite videos because it was hard. Like a lot of stuff went into it. And the, in the fucking table we did flippy cup on was the hardest table of all time. No, it was the cups. You got the fucking stupid cups that wouldn't flip right. I blame Karen for that. That was her cups. Yeah, Bullshit! Like I'm Karen. awesome at that game. And it's it called, was your cups. Yeah, it's called taps. You don't know how to play. Right. Well, anyway. Thank you, by the way, for the hand-me-down Valentine's Day gifts. I got the rejects <laughs> gifts. Oh, they were from Tom. Yeah, right. I took Tom's Valentine's Day gifts. He bought a Walgreens and gave it to my wife. So you're welcome, Karen. All right. Well, speaking of drinking games, let's go to drinking. What is your favorite thing to drink, each of you? Well, I'd say mine's Miller Lite. I don't know if you can tell that or not in my videos. I drink mostly Miller Lite. I don't really drink too much beer unless I'm at home or uh, not at home. So that's the only time I drink beer, and it's usually Miller Lite. <laughs> you know, um, but um, I usually when I go out, <laughs> that didn't make any sense. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't it, drink that it, much it beer unless you're at home or out of home. But if I'm usually it drinking, uh, I usually drink vodka, a lot of Tito's. So I hope we get sponsored by that pretty soon. Oh, nice. Usually yeah, a lot of Tito's in tonic or Tito's in water. Uh, Tito's in. I get straight to the point. Tito's in White Monster. Oh. You ever tried that? That's for yippies. Oh shit, I didn't know that. Well, thanks for the information, bro. What's the right balance of drinking and lifting? Well, in, a, in the gym, it's a fine line because I don't know if people think we're getting drunk, but I mean, we're just having some beers. Well, right. most of the time, if we're at the gym, we're only having a few beers. Just a loose during up a little bit. maybe a video or something, and maybe a couple afterwards, not a lot. Right. I mean, you like can't just do our accessories drinking beer. That'd be fucking super. Cool. If we're squatting, we'll probably have three, four beers. You can't just get fucking hammered, drunk, and just fucking lift weights. But when you're not working out, what did you say? So when that? you're not working out, who's the best drinker? Karen Finn. Yeah, Karen probably is the best. Right, out so of it's a softball. <laughs> Throw up <a> softball for <laughs> <That's not laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. walked right into that. Yeah, the lady asking the questions is probably <laughs> the best drinker out of the three of us, <laughs> which is very embarrassing. Like, 120 I, pound woman is gonna out drink us. So, do you have any good drinking stories? Together? Or? We have tons of drinking stories. We talk about LA. I don't think we're allowed to talk about LA. We can talk about it a little bit. We can leave the good parts. <laughs> well, we flew to LA for the LA Fit Expo. Yeah, like Finn called me on like a Monday, and the LA Fit Expo was like that weekend. He goes, <laughs> The LA Fit Expo. <laughs> yeah, the LA Fit Expo was that weekend. He goes, you want to go to LA for a FedEx Expo? And I go, okay. So I bought like the last ticket of the plane, yeah. super cheap. Caffeine Keels flew me out there. I think Eight Man flew you out there. Yeah. And uh, got some, oh, that's a pretty nice hotel. It's up on the ground the whole time. Yeah, we had a great hotel room, man. But the, fir the first night we get there, we fucking drank till like five in the morning. Yeah, the first time we get there, we just figure every bar is like an Illinois bar. Like, yeah. Regular, you know, cans of Miller Lite, like normal beer. No. And every fucking bar was like a hipster. People with shaved heads with like the long hair on top and funky looking beards and super tight pants. And yeah, really tight pants. Everyone was like, oh, we have like a pale ale. I'm like, what the fuck is a pale ale? I don't know. Last you couldn't find like a normal can of beer anywhere. So we ended up like, our best favorite bar was Hooters. The only bar that had Miller Lite was Hooters. Yeah. Out of like, we went to like 30 bars. We probably searched at 15 to 20, at least 15 bars. We couldn't bars. even find a goddamn Coors Light for Christ's yeah. sakes. We ended up in, in like the bad part of LA at like 3 in the morning. Yeah. And I'm like looking at bums and like spray paint and like, you know, steal bars by the shopping centers. Yeah. Like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. I remember you here. showed your penis to a bum. Yeah. But well, you're a toxic. I don't even remember that or not. I was African American now. <laughs> yeah, you were big time. <laughs> It was bad. And we Don't went, ever go to LA. Then we sucks. went to sleep for two hours and went to the expo the next morning. Yeah. 
So earlier tonight you went on Instagram Live and pulled out some questions. I'm gonna run them off for you. Okay. Who's the big spoon? Well, that's hard for us. Well, I'm 245. Right yeah, I'm like 246 so. right now. <laughs> Gee, son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, after this beer, it's gonna put me over. <laughs> Hold on. Me and Tom like to fight for power bottom, so uh, it's, it's constantly a battle between us. A battle. <laughs> the big spoon. What was the greatest night ever for you two? Jeez, greatest night ever. Probably your night. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> This, this is a great night. Up. This is a pretty good night. Man. I know it. Tuesday night, we're drunk. New Year's, deck party, all of the different parties. <laughs> all the different times at Karen's not, Corner. New Year's, we got pretty lit drinking down here. Oh, yeah. Karen's Corner's had some some of the world-famous drunks yeah. down here. Nothing to be proud of. No, it is definitely nothing to be proud of. Um, I don't know. You want to talk about that night when you uh, worked on my truck? <laughs> <laughs> and this nice new <laughs> head unit to be yeah, put in. Yeah, want to put in like a fancy head unit. Yeah. And I go, all right, man, come over to my shop. You know, we'll, uh, we'll fix you up, right, Tommy? He goes, okay, I'll come over after work. <laughs> Comes over like 10 o'clock at night. We got a garbage bag full of ice and Miller Lite yeah. <laughs> just on the ground leaking everywhere. Yeah. So we started doing the head unit, and I uh, I mixed the wires up wrong. I didn't connect them very good. <laughs> He's kind of forgot what I was doing because I was getting drunk. And the head unit looked great, looked perfect. Looked yeah. great in that truck, oh, like, it did. like it meant to be there. Yeah, it was very but nice. But nothing worked, and then his uh, his interior lights never worked. Yeah, I, didn't, I couldn't even see how fast I was going home. <laughs> I probably had a blood alcohol content of 0 .03. Or 0 .3. But that thing looked good. No, it looked great. <laughs> Just yeah. couldn't hear it. I needed a flashlight in there to see how fast I was going, though. <laughs> so. yeah, that was a good night. That was a good night, yeah, yeah. Definitely a good night. Who are some of your power lifter inspirations? Tom. Tom. Well, Tom K. <laughs> Tom F. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say H. Tom um, H. Uh, Tom Hawk Finn Power. Well, let's see. Uh, Lily Bridges. Eric Lily Bridge. Hi, uh, Lil Bridge. Hell, the lifter. Uh, Kendall. Derek Kendall. He's a big uh, big inspiration when I lifted with him for a couple he's of years. He's gone now. Yeah, I think he's he dead. died. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah. yeah. Well, he went to New York. Went, same thing. Right. Might as well die. Yeah, he fell off the face of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> What is your favorite David Allen Co song? That ain't country is mine. I like Time Off for Bad Behavior. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I really like that one. That's what about that one song? The Burritos out in uh, California. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that song, too. That's a good one. Callis, you've been training with Silent Mike quite a bit. What's his program like? How is it? Uh, it's good. A lot different. Um, so I used to train with the Lily Bridges. It was all like kind of heavier weights. Like all the time, like heavy percentages, and it worked for a while. But now I got sound, I've been on Silent Mike's programming since I think December, so I've listened to about six months. A lot lighter weights, uh, percentages a lot lower, volumes a little bit higher, but it, it's worked. Um, last, for example, I, last uh, squat session before my last meet was 644 for an AMRAP. So I was like, I was pretty fucking light still, Mike. It was a week out of my meet, I squatted 644 for six reps. A week later, I competed and squatted 750. Like it was nothing. You know, 100 pound difference, and I trained light the whole time. So. Well, why don't you enlighten us in uh, why he's no longer with Super Training? You told me earlier before we we're on camera why. You want to tell everybody else? That's not my business. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened. All I know is I still text him, and he gives me programs. That's all my. That's all I care about. Well, I tried. <laughs> Sorry, no information <laughs> out of me. What's your snitch? athletic? <laughs> What's your athletic Fucking background? Snitch, athletic background. <laughs> What's his athletic background? Chopping wood. <laughs> right? I'm pretty good at chopping wood. You don't even know anything about it. You like bare sport. hands. Um, I played soccer for like <laughs> forever. Hey, Stan Anthony played soccer. Look at him. <laughs> sort of Brand Lily. Oh God. Uh, we I went to a real small school, like. Everybody thought I was like a wrestler like whenever I went anywhere in high school, but we didn't have wrestling. We had one hallway, like fucking 200 some people with faculty in my school, super small. So I just play soccer. And then when I was in eighth grade, they opened up a gym. And then from there, it's history, man. I just started working out a long time. 
So working out is your sport. Pretty much, we're, yeah, working out is my sport. The cops are the robbers. Do either of you still train with the little bridges? Not really. I mean, I train at the same gym, but they're not in there that much. And I, I've, I've moved around the past couple of years, so they, uh, it's too hard for me to get in there. I just train with myself, or I mean, I got some buddies I train with, but I usually train in my home gym at Fitworks or uh, in my basement. I got some weights. Or Zen Zen sometimes, I'm going heavy. Dick Zen Zen? Dick Zen Zen. But uh, I love that guy. Those guys train at like 10 or 11 a night. If I could ever train them, like, mm, Yeah, it is tough. My work schedule doesn't allow me to do that, so not really. Right. Saving the best fan question for last, who has the bigger penis? That's a fan question, or is that your question? A little bit of both. I was the fan. What the hell? It's my wife, you don't want another man's lawn! What's the answer? Well, I know that I'm average for like an eight foot tall black man. So, I think you're fucked, buddy. Jeez, what's an average eight foot tall black man? A new bowl? Think about it. We'll find out when we turn this camera off, bud. <laughs> I'm power bottom. You're power bottom? <laughs> Well, how are we gonna wrap this up? We need a good song first. Bart, or uh, we got a DJ in here. I'll play something else. This is depressing. It makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. I figured I was supposed to drive my car into a pole. What's next for Tom Callis? Oh, probably. Uh, well, more beer and spend the night in Finn's basement. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, drinking more beer and crash. Falling asleep probably. Uh, I got one more beer down here. In uh, a spare single bedroom over there. Uh, but powerlifting wise, I'm going to be competing probably in November at Jesse Burdick's meet. <laughs> November to remember! Yeah, that too. Been a busy summer with work and stuff. So I'll be at that meet as well. No, we won't. Where are you going, 198? Yeah. I'll be there. Well, me and Finn will be competing at. Nope, actually, he'll be watching. He doesn't compete anymore. He's uh, Instagram lifter only. <laughs> but I'll be competing in November at Jesse Burdick's meet. Lifter. Until next the off season. Where can we find you? Right here. You can find me at Karen's Corner. How many days a week? Well, we're gonna do part one day a month. This is only part one, guys. There's gonna be a part two tonight. Yeah, still. he's got no more friends, so yeah, so we got nothing else. Uh, but as far as social media, Tom Callis on Instagram. Callis is like Dallas with a K, and Tom Cal One on Instagram. Number one, because I'm number one. Well, that's it. Until next time, uh, this is it from Karen's Corner. You're Fuck welcome. you, Kalis. You're welcome. Oh. I, got, I got two words for you. <laughs> yeah. See you in hell. <laughs> okay, bye. You'll make it